Hey guys, I'm Adam Bose once again. So a year ago, I made a video called Physio Part 1, and I thought it was about time that I actually made Part 2. So before we get into that, uh, to catch you guys up on what I've been up to, I have recently graduated with a Bachelor of Music in Music Theatre. I've also been in a couple of short films, including Jeremy the Dud, and a couple of feature films, such as Hacksaw Ridge and Winchester. I've also got a couple more coming up, which I can't talk about just yet, but when I can, I'll let you guys know. Now that I've finally graduated and actually have time, I'll be able to make some more YouTube videos now, so of course I'll be keeping up my song covers whenever I get a chance, but I'll mainly be focusing on A Day in the Life of the Double Leg Amputee videos, uh, which I will shorten the name of to something... I'm not sure what yet, but I'll figure that out soon. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for all that. If you've seen Physio Part 1, you know that when I was born, I didn't have the tibia bone, which is the bone from your knee to your ankle. This caused my legs to be curved like this, I also had four toes on one foot for some reason, and I had dimples where my knees were. Basically, we tried these prosthetics where my legs were sticking out the back of the prosthetic legs. Looking at the footage, this looks really painful for me. So, my parents had the decision as to whether I would be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life, or if I would have my legs amputated. Now, of course, I couldn't make this decision because I was one year old at the time, and my biggest concern was what episode of Rugrats I was going to watch that afternoon. After careful consideration, it was decided that both my legs would be amputated above the knee at Westmead Children's Hospital. I was two years old at the time, and the first thing I asked my mum when I came out of the operation was, can I please have a lemonade ice block? <laughs> Learning to walk with prosthetics before an amputation is one thing. Learning to walk with prosthetics after an amputation is very, very different. The footage you're about to see was taken when I was four years old, and at that age all I wanted to do was have fun, muck around, do what most four-year-olds want to do. So I didn't really grasp the concept of really what we were doing. I mean, I, at that age I didn't really understand that this was going to be, these legs were how I was going to be walking for the rest of my life when I'm not in my wheelchair. So this was exactly 20 years ago. Hello! What's your name? How old are you? Four. Oh boy. <laughs> now the thing about the stickers, I used to be obsessed with stickers when I was a kid. I had a plastic table that was just, every time I got a sticker, I'd put it on there. So anytime I got a new sticker, I'd be so excited. Just a little backstory for you there, a little fun fact. Okay, Adam, do you want to show me walking with bending your knees? Hang on, maybe two bends I get up. Let's go get to the key. Can we go back to the start? Okay, off you go. Show me how many you can do. One, two. Did you bend that one? Oops, the daisies. Now, bending the knees was a very important thing. Three. Um, it was important that I four, controlled the leg in a way eight, that made sure it bent. Five, so that was a big thing that we focused on. Six. Very nice. Okay, let's come around the other. Go back and see how many you can do this way coming back. Okay, okay ready? One. Not a huge step, just a little normal size step. Two, three. Wait a minute, I just got to get again. We're going to do it from the start again, are we? Okay. No, the beginning. From the beginning. According to four year old Adam, the start and the beginning are two very different things. And go around to your frame, Adam, or we'll do some videoing with the frame. Am I a cat? Where's your frame, Adam? Frame first. So what happened to your legs before, Adam? They just came off. Adam, what happened to your legs? Um, I, I 
Okay, now do you remember what we were going to do next, Adam? Okay. David, who I refer to um, in that little bit, is uh, my prosthesis. Um, so David makes my legs, does the castings and everything. And still is to this day. You'll actually see him in a future video. Do you want to go and stand at that end of the stripy lines of the tape? So you tell me when you're ready and I'll start counting. Ready now? So what we're doing here is making sure that I would walk in a straight line. Um, it was very difficult to keep my, the gait of my legs um, to an appropriate portion so that I wasn't doing splits. Um, and it was also important to, of course, and it was also important to, of course, make sure I was bending. Um, one way to keep the gate closed, which helped me a lot, was the wooden beam that you can see here. Um, it was a little bit harder to bend along the wooden beam, but it was a lot easier to keep the gate closed because I had something, a frame of reference. Good, that was nice bending. Very lovely. Okay. Do you want to turn around and do another one, Adam? You're good at this one. Very good. Lovely. Very nice. Okay, here we go. Okay, yeah. Yay, that was straight. So, as well as stability and um, and my knees and um, making sure I don't take big steps. Um, a big thing was also hand-eye coordination along with stability. Um, so things that helped with that was things like basketball and playing soccer and things like that. That was a solid kick. Oh. So I wasn't doing a dance there. Um, I was trying to keep myself upright. Um, basically, sometimes, as you as you would have seen um, when I was going along um, the walking along with the bars, um, my leg will sometimes uh, unlock, and so that's what nearly happened there. And I was basically trying not to fall and lock it at the same time and keep myself upright on both legs. Um, so yeah, I think that I, I don't, you know, make that sort of <laughs> dance, but uh, it does still happen to this day where my legs will unlock randomly. So basically it was a cool, you can kick the ball, now we're going to try and go up a level and see what more we can do. So my mother was being amazingly supportive in doing that. Now when I was that age and I fell, it, I would go forward and put my hands on the ground um, and it, because it wasn't a long way down. Now if I fall, it's an amazingly long way down. Can we do Very good. Can we do another one? Can you put your feet a little bit closer together, Adam? Wow. Bit closer together, honey. Can you make your feet go a little bit closer? Good. Very nice. Uh oh. <laughs> Did it knock you out? <laughs> Okay, off you go, off the corridor. I'll give you a new sticker today. Okay, let's see bending your knees. Good, very nice. See, I used to hate walkers because I could never control the things because they're so heavy. 
and probably a reason why I hate pushing trolleys as well because I just can't control them. Okay, best walking for the video. That's it. Doesn't want to bend, does it? That's it. Good boy. Good. You go back the other way now. That was really good walking out of the bending your knees. Would you like a jelly bean? My arms are worn out. Worn out, are they? That's great walking though. Okay, you're going to go back to mum? Put what? Just put this back. Can you um, walk just a little bit more with the frame and then we'll do some without the frame? See if you can do such good bending without the frame. Um, I think it's still there. At Westmead Children's Hospital there was this massive Thomas the Tank Engine train and I'm pretty sure that's what I've gone to look for. We're doing more walking. We're doing more walking. <laughs> it's good to know who's running this thing. <laughs> okay, the other frame. Adam, do you want to just now do some walking without your frame? See if you can do bending your knees without the frame? Sweet home? Hang on. Four steps. Three steps. Bending your knees. Good. Sorry, I have to do two steps for me. Ouch. Ouch. Can you just walk a little bit slower because I can't move out of your way too quickly? Adam, do you want to try and walk along, hold on to this, and do little steps with bending your knees? Okay, that's a bit more, Okay, little steps with bending your knees. So, as it turns out, I've actually got a lot more footage than I originally thought, um, so I'm actually going to make a physio part three. I'm not going to wait another year to bring out this one, um, it'll actually come out like in the next month, so. Look out for that. Um, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Um, go like my Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, I don't know Pinterest. Um, all my stuff is either on this side of the screen, it's going to be on that side of the screen. If I haven't figured out how to do that yet, it's down in the description below. Thanks so much for watching guys. See you later.